We've grown for 20 years, on average, I might add, at 2.8% on average. Uh, we've doubled the GDP in the last 20 years. There has been significant delivery, as you recognize. And the question is, why are people so unhappy? Why is it that we have workers on the platinum belt who have demanded a 100% increase? And why is it that we have service delivery protests taking place? Now, part of this uh, mainstream explanation of that is bad governance. But that on its own doesn't understand this. So if you have a conversation with Amco workers, which I did last week, or if you have a conversation with service delivery protesters, one of the things they continually tell you is that if the rich can take so much, why is it that the poor are being asked to be patient? So they'll ask you, why is it that Jacob Zuma tells us to be patient when he can spend 248 million rand on his house? But as much as they say that, by the way, which everybody agrees with, they also say, how is it that the Lordman CEO can walk away with 17 or 18 million rand and then demand and say it's unreasonable for a worker who's a rock to, uh, to, get, to get 12 and a half thousand? That the real story of Marikane is a backlash against inequality. And that's the, what the mainstream economists don't like to hear. And it's the biggest challenge of our society. The mainstream economists say, get growth going. By the way, I think growth is absolutely essential. Because without growth, you can't do anything else. But they say, focus on growth. And if you get growth going, inequality will disappear. Well, we had growth going for 19 out of 20 years and inequality increased in South Africa. And there's a fascinating study, as you well know, by this guy called Thomas Piketty, looking at 200 years of worth of data. And you can fiddle with the numbers every now and then. But essentially, the thesis is that mainstream economics is wrong. And by the way, he's not alone in this. If you go uh, listen to, what's the guy in Colombia? Uh, the World Bank Stiglitz. Stig Stig or you listen to the guy who's moved from uh, Princeton, Krugman. Krugman. All of them would be exactly arguing the same thing and have been arguing it for over 20 years. Yeah. And South African economists. Yet mainstream South African economists still say growth is the only question. Now, that's the big challenge that we confront in this context. And so I want to put a challenge to us on, and by the way, it's not only mainstream economists, and it's not only the corporate sector. The ANC itself ducks this question. So if you look at the National Development Plan, and I think there's lots of good policies in the National Development Plan, but its economic chapter ducks the fundamental question of our time. Because if it, its economics chapter says, you can get to inequality, because it recognizes inequality as a problem, if you get to, if you deal with poverty. But we know if you deal with poverty, you don't deal with inequality. So what it says is get industri uh, industrialization going, get education going, get uh, 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 mobility going, get small business development happening, all of which I agree with. But that resolves poverty and it doesn't resolve inequality for the simple reason that as you get growth going in the economy and as you get employment going, the guys on the top always grow faster than the guys at the bottom for a very simple reason. The guys on the top have assets. They have stocks, they have bonds, they have property. And as these, go, these guys go faster, the story of South Africa over the last 20 years is exactly that. And if you add black economic empowerment that is narrow enrichment, that happened even faster. So the question is, how do you bring this down? And what Piketty says is the answer is twofold. One is tax transfers. He says education, which I agree with. And the one model in the Brazilian case over the last 10 years where inequality did come down was you use your development finance institutions to invest in the formal e informal economy and formalize that through small business development. That story is missing in this conversation. 